Hello friends, happy Monday. We are gonna paint one of the another one of the new baskets. This is the apple basket, and we're gonna do the jack-o'-lantern insert. Um, this one's gonna be pretty quick and easy because there's not gonna be very many colors. Got some black, some pumpkin orange, and some nutmeg brown, and maybe I'll add in a few more colors as we go, but that's what we're gonna start with is just these three basic colors. Whoops. <clears throat> Three sponges. I know I didn't announce at what time I was coming on live. I will be live on Mondays and Wednesdays going forward. Um, but I haven't really committed to a time because it's just going to vary, I guess, depending on what's going on in life. So probably between 5.30 and 7, you'll find me live on Mondays and Wednesdays. And then other days, as I'm able to get some time slots with the Craft Around the Clock group, um, I think, yeah, I'll be live this Thursday at 6.15 p.m. Eastern Time for my Craft Around the Clock time slot. So you'll see me Wednesday again and then Thursday. I've got a bunch of new kits that I want to get cut and listed on the website. Um, hey, Rachel. <clears throat> And then I've got a bunch of stuff here that I've cut and listed on the website that I haven't had a chance to paint live with you guys yet. I am trying to paint all of them live um, as I put new ones up. So they might not be like the day that I put them up, obviously, but I'm trying to keep up with them so that there's a live video for you guys to go back and reference. <clears throat> so nutmeg brown for my background. I'm going to do this in black, the base. How's everybody doing today? All right. So then <clears throat> you've got these three long pieces. This one says back, that's gonna go right on the back right there and then you're gonna have one on the front and that little slot right there is what creates the spot for the insert for these to become interchangeable I'm not gonna paint this one I am gonna paint these two and they're both gonna be done in black and then I'm gonna do the little handles um, and hardware on the bucket in black as well And then we just got our little jack-o'-lanterns. This one will be quick. Hey, Vicki. That's the thing that I like about these little ones is they're quick and easy. You can make them more complicated if you want to make them super fancy. Give them lots of details. You can do that. <clears throat> um, but they're quick and easy to paint and they're interchangeable. So I always like interchangeable. So this will go on here. Oops. This will go on here. And then we'll have our little handles here. I'll show you this all done in just a second. If you guys don't follow me over on YouTube yet, make sure you give me a follow over there. Um, I am trying to make sure that I'm in all the places so that way if something were to happen to one social media platform, we are still covered with another. <clears throat> you can also make sure you're on my email list it's a good way to stay connected as well. If like Facebook goes down for the day or whatnot, we never know, right? Um, <clears throat> but I am contemplating doing one of my lives for the week over on YouTube. So I might do like Monday nights here on Facebook and Wednesdays on YouTube or something. I haven't decided exactly yet what I'm gonna do, but give me a follow over there. All of my, all of my replays get uploaded over there too, so. It's easier to find replays over there than it is over here on Facebook. I think that glue had the end of its life, so we're going to go ahead and open this one up. <clears throat> I 
Everybody always asks, this is the thick stick fast. They have a thick and a thin, and I have purchased both. Thick is my favorite, thin is very runny, very liquidy. Um, but I do have some from when the other was not available. The thick was not an option for quite a while. It was sold out on Amazon, and so I just made sure that I had something as a backup, and I have those, and I'll keep them just in case. Um, there's ever a backup again, I'll still have something on hand, but I prefer the thick. Oops. Should have known I'd bump that right off there. Right off the etching. <clears throat> All right, oops, we do have to do the back side still. I'm gonna let this dry though. I'll do the back part last. So here's what our little bucket looks like. Our apple basket is what I think this one's called on the website. <clears throat> I'm just gonna let it dry so that nothing slides around there. And then we're gonna go ahead and do the jack-o-lantern kit. Um, I'm gonna take these off, the tops off. The backgrounds are just all going to be black so that they're spooky and you can see behind them, behind their faces. <clears throat> and really the only thing that needs to be covered is right behind their faces. So I'm not going to paint the whole thing. Literally just like that and it should cover just fine. Hi Sherry. You can paint the whole thing if you want to. Um, I'm just not going to take the time to do it because it's not necessary. I'm going to do a second coat maybe on part of it though. <clears throat> All right. I'm gonna pull these over here, push these off to the side so they can dry. Hi, Tracy. <coughs> and these I'm just gonna do pretty basic in orange. I might go in and add a little bit, oops, more detail in a minute to them as well, but we're just gonna start out with basic orange. Um, and we'll do the stem different, but that part's easy. We'll do that in our nutmeg brown. a little bit more here. Got a little bit thin. I want to make sure it's nice and orange. <clears throat> you can go back through after you've got your orange in. You can kind of add some nutmeg brown through the pumpkin um, down like the... I know they have names and I always forget whatever the little creases are that make the little bumps on the pumpkins. Gosh, someone's gonna tell me before I think of it. Hey, Deborah, cause you guys are good, but I know there's a name cause I remember painting pumpkins before and asking about it live. Anyways, you can run some orange or some orange, some uh, like light brown down those lines to kind of give it more of a dimensional look, make it more 3D. So that might be something that we do. That's just gonna depend when I get it put together, how I feel. <clears throat> Sometimes I like to paint pretty basic though, just to kind of show everybody that you can do these and make them super cute, just painting them completely basic. No extra details. But sometimes I like to show the details too. <clears throat> there is a tag with this too that says happy Halloween and I don't know I really like green and purple for Halloween and I'm thinking of making my tag either green or purple what do you guys think it'd be a lime green all right so there's that pretty basic pretty simple quick and easy did I just put 
paint on my face. The other day I painted, I think it was last week I painted live with you guys, but I didn't show my face because I wasn't feeling good that day either. And uh, when I left <laughs> the live and I went to rinse my brushes, I looked in the mirror and saw that I had black paint all over my face. So it's a good thing that I was not showing my face that night. So again, I'm just using some nutmeg brown for the stems. <clears throat> Sherry says purple, we'll go with purple. So give us a pop of color. Everything else is pretty much these same three basic colors, but that sign will let that stick out pretty good for us. <clears throat> Deborah agrees with purple. We'll definitely do some purple. I think they're going to be super cute little jack o' lanterns. And a little apple basket. I just love that they're all interchangeable. I think that I've pretty much, I might have one more base that I haven't painted yet. I'll have to check. I think I've done most of the bases now live and have those finished. So I'll have to get them all set up and take a picture of all the interchangeable options together. Hello, Brianna. Hello, Sarah. All right. <clears throat> Grab our little vases here. I gotta, I gotta line them up because I don't ever know where they go. There we go. I think I did that one good. I'm thinking that one goes there. Yeah, it should be right. I'm just gonna be careful with the glue and I'm gonna glue onto the pumpkins and not on the background so that way I don't have glue sticking out all over where their eyeballs are at. We don't want the glue seeping out from underneath the pieces. I try to just glue gently. I mean, I don't use a ton of glue, but when you're going onto the background and putting something over top, it's still hard to not put too much glue. So there we go. Whoops, now my finger's stuck to it. There's some of our little jack-o'-lanterns. Look how cute they are. And that's just basic. It's just black on the background and orange on the pumpkin. Nothing special on here yet. first started painting it drove me nuts to not have like the edges all covered or that bottom covered but now that I've been doing it for a while I don't care because I know what is and isn't going to show um, but if that drives you nuts you can paint the full thing that's totally fine hi crystal <clears throat> all right so we voted for purple for our Halloween or happy Halloween signs so let me grab a purple out here um, let's see Hyacinth, I believe it's called. Like a light lavender. And it's this one's Anita's brand. If there's any in here, there we go. Oh, definitely got too much. It came flying out. <clears throat> so because it's got writing on it, I do kind of pounce these ones instead of... Um, Kind of like you're doing a stencil instead of swiping it because then it doesn't fill the lines in with the paint. And it's got our words etched on there. Really nice so we don't have to, I mean you can go over it with a marker if you want to, but you don't have to. Some of them I do, some of them I don't. It just depends. Hello from Colorado. How are you? Yes, I do cut these out. They are available on my website, uh, dizzydesigner.com. I don't think I put that in my link before I go out live again. I've been bad about that. I'll share the link um, 
after the live is over though. All right, so we're gonna have this cute little pop of color that says Happy Halloween. And then we've got our cute little jack-o'-lanterns. And I do think I'm gonna add a little bit of some shadowing on here. I'm gonna try to, we'll see how it turns out. A little bit of excess glue here, I'm gonna dry that up. So here's our basket again, if you didn't see that part. And I'm just gonna go back in with some of the nutmeg brown and some orange and kind of go along the lines to add a little bit of shading and dimension. And the trick is just making sure that you have both colors wet. So that's why I'm going into both colors <clears throat> because this is dry now. So I'm bringing both colors into it on the brush, kind of just blending them together. It doesn't blend as good this way, but it still works. I'm just gonna go along my edge. So this one just looks more dimensional than the other ones. Just gives it a little bit more. And I think I'm just gonna do that on this one. I don't think I'm gonna do it on the other one. I think this one's gonna kinda go behind them. So I'm just gonna make these front ones dimensional. Anybody else still crafting for Halloween or you guys moved on now? I was gonna do I had a Thanksgiving one I wanted to do live tonight, but then I thought, I don't know. I'm not quite ready yet. I did um, Christmas in July. So I already did a bunch of Christmas stuff then. And I'm just not ready to be into just Christmas yet. So I figured I'd hold off a little bit longer on the Thanksgiving and then go into Christmas from there. <clears throat> Hello, Sherry. Hi, Stephanie. Tamara, how are you? Aren't they cute? What I've been doing is cutting a bunch and listing them and then just leaving the cutouts down here waiting for me to paint and my pile's just getting bigger and bigger. So I have to start, I had to start going live more. So I'll be back again, like I said, on Wednesday and Thursday this week. I just think it makes all the difference in the world, but you can totally just leave them plain. Or if you wanted to do the, um, <clears throat> if you wanted to do the blending as you're going, that would blend a little bit better, but you could do it either way. I just know if I have a little bit of both colors in there together, that it blends pretty decent, even though it's the background's dry. So that's what I chose to do. All right, there's our little jack-o'-lanterns. Halloween, yes, is one of my favorites too. Deborah's still working on Halloween. Hi, Lisa. All right, I think I'm gonna glue these like this behind here. I'm just trying to think. I might want them all done that way. Or does it look, what do you guys think? Should I do, should I do that on the back ones too? Or just leave the front ones like that and leave the back ones plain? I don't know. <clears throat> I think it kind of looks weird to leave them by themselves like that. So I'm gonna go through. And do these ones too now. I didn't plan on it, but that's all right.
Now we got mostly orange on the side. That's all right. Let's add a little bit more of that brown in there. too brown for my liking at least you can do it however you want to I like mine to be a little bit more blended than what that came out <clears throat> a little bit darker on the edge here Look how different they look. Detail them the same. Yes, I think I agree. I think that I knew you guys were going to say that, so that's why I just started without waiting for an answer. I know you guys pretty well. <laughs> At least I like to think I do sometimes. Alright, and then again, I'm going to do a little bit darker for the edge. Oh, I didn't mean to do that dark. Hold on. Go back in with some more orange. See how I just blended that in? It's just perfect. <coughs> Alright. Uh-oh. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this back on real quick. And for that, I am going to glue right on the board so that I don't mess up and get glue in the little insert spot. And this just goes right on here. Creates that little spot right there where the inserts are going to go. Just kind of letting this pumpkin dry here. I'm just going to lay them down. I don't know if you guys can even see where I'm at here. Probably not. I'm just going to lay them down and kind of move them around to see where I want them to be placed. I think I'm going to kind of glue them right like that. How am I going to do this? I'm not quite sure. Let's see. Let's do, I'm going to do a little bit of glue all the way across the top, I guess, and hope for the best. So that's what I did with my glue. And then I'm just going to kind of hover where I want it again, just to make sure I'm in the right spot. And then just set it down. And I'm going to hold it there for a second so it doesn't slide off, since it's not level. <clears throat> Guys, look how quick and easy that was. Hi, Ramona. Thank you. Hello, Sue. You could add some little highlights in their eyes if you wanted to. I think I'm going to leave mine black so that they look spooky. But this little insert goes in here. Uh-oh. I lied. I let it slide. Ah. All right. Well, once again, my insert doesn't work right because I messed up my gluing. But here you go. See what I did? I didn't let it dry all the way. And when I went to put it on there, it slid down, but it was dry enough that I couldn't slide it back up. So it is what it is. It's where it's at now. But there's that. And then it just sits right here in the little insert so that it's a shelf sitter. And then we've got this cute little tag that we made that says Happy Halloween. And I would just get some um, little string and I tie it and glue behind my pumpkins. So that hangs out there. So you got just a little pop of color with those. And then let me grab my other interchangeables and just kind of show you um, what else we've got. So we got this cute little wagon that's also a sitter um, that it will go in. All the interchangeables go in there. And then, let's see, the basket that started it all. So here's just the basket, the regular basket. And that will interchange in there as well. So there's three bases. Um, let's see. There are some little box bases, and I know I've painted them, and I don't know where I've put them. So there's definitely more bases. Um, but then we've got this cool one right here. It's gigantic, but it also takes all of those interchangeables. So how cool is that? I love this truck. I'm obsessed with the trucks. So 
I'm going to leave mine right there. Um, but like I said, if you guys are not following me over on YouTube yet, give me a follow over there. Um, I might start going live over there once a week or something, but I will be back live again Wednesday. And then, like I said, sometime between like 5.30 and 7 probably. And then I'll be live again uh, Thursday night. So I'll talk to you guys soon. I hope you have a great week. Bye, everybody.